Alright guys, so this is going to be the season finale of Lil's Pet Shop. And now this is going to be episode 26, I'm just going to finish off season 2. It's been a long time, it's been too long if you ask me. That was my card, I actually need that. Okay, I'll get it later, so don't forget it. Alright, but this is going to be Lil's Pet Shop. Final episode for season 2. There's season 3 and season 4 is already set and done, set in stone. Not sure if this is season 5, and I'm sure one of y'all have already told me that by now. And I'm just gonna finish this off so I can finally get to some other stuff, and then get back to Lil's Pet Shop at another point, but I I've just been in this whole haven't finished season 2 thing for a long time, and it's about time I actually do finish that. So let's do that now. 3, 2, 1, go. Previously on Lewis Pet Shop, ding. Live Baxter, Mona Autumn from Trade Blase Magazine. It might be fun to do an article on you and your designs. We've got everything set up for the mm. photo shoot. Yeah, yeah, and, I, and I, after last episode, yeah, we have seen her before. She has been Just herself one. weird. In the interest of being fair, I put everyone's name in a hat and picked one out. And the name I picked was Brussels. Yes, <gasps> because our in Jesus. We need to make sure Blight doesn't get any positive attention at the expo. Look, Blight, just look at this. Mm -hmm. Today, Fisher Biscuit announced plans to build another largest ever pet shop here in downtown city. Very weird. With all that this is like attention you're sure to get, mm. we're bound to get some extra business. Oh no, I set the alarm for the wrong time. I'm gonna be late for the photo. Set shoot. the alarm for the wrong time. Someone stole your trailer hitch. Trailer hitch. <laughs> Someone <laughs> slashed your tire, <laughs> and or it's been like that forever. Stop. Who knows? Evil, evil, evil. Uh, but okay. But as for season finale goes, yeah, you got the you got the conflict, you got this, you got the uncertain circumstances. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how they're gonna get out of this. So. Okay, it's time to get this going. It's time for the season for now. Let's go. Hitch. How many times have I said we should have an emergency hitch for getting pet fashion kiosks to pet fashion expos? Just now. Dear. Maybe. <gasps> oh, ask uh, your neighbor. I was here first. Oh, That's looking at her hedgehog. Doomed. Doomed. That or we are looking right. Penny Ling's right, Blythe. You never know when something wonderful is gonna walk right through the door. Yeah, like a... Not Nothing. Necessarily that door. Yeah, what about the other door? I found the perfect replacement for your missing trailer hitch. A <gasps> doorknob. Tomley, no. I can't let you turn one of your prized doorknobs into a trailer hitch. I don't think it's one of her prized. Nuts to that noise. You are not going to miss that photo shoot life. Oh, wow. is not going to get the best of us. Oh. Mrs. Swambley, best character. Still best character for me. Like, best human character. Buttercream will always still be up there. Really? Life's a good driver. It's not She's that. a fantastic driver. It's the photo shoot I'm worried about. Being in front of the camera with everyone watching. Okay. Not your thing. Here's a little something for you to keep in your back pocket. Hmm? My most fantastic pose, only to I... be used when all others have been exhausted. Mm. The glamour glare. Oh Jesus! Oh God! It's too powerful. Oh, dude, I think you popped a blood vessel. A little practice, but don't worry, you'll get it. You okay? <laughs> no way. Wow. Really? Yes. Really? We need you to go, like, faster, driver. Totes. And when we get to the expo hall, we need you to be ready for the next part of our super genius plan. Yeah, plans, because they're always genius. Greatness. Yay! It's very you. Made it. It's you know you fit that very well, Blythe. Yo, yo, yo! Can we go looking around? Oh, this place looks fun. Vinny, doing that might get Blythe in trouble, and we are here only to support her. Remember? Yeah, moral support always great. That sometimes you can be no fun. That's what I remember. Ooh. I can't believe I'm finally <laughs> at the International Pet Fashion Expo. Yes, we are always that happy it's when fun. that happens. Everything's gonna go wrong. What's gonna go wrong? Blythe. Everything's gonna go wrong as long as you keep that attitude. And I wouldn't be anywhere close to this place if it wasn't for all of you. Yeah. 
Well, the pets, you would not be at a pet expo. Song. Cool. At first, I was like, who's singing? But, okay, Pale Lane. Okay. So good, just like a good flashback remedy, uh, uh, reminiscent of the old times. Fall on your face, then get up and dance. Nothing to lose if you're taking a chance. When your friends are right there with you. Cause you can do anything. These are reminding me of the things that I probably forgot of. That's good. Now, did they, usually when shows do this sort of thing, it means they thought they were gonna, this was their last season. Let me give you a tip. Shoulders back, point your toes, chin up, and work it. Show them what you've got. Oh, yeah, Russell. Hot, baby. Okay, so hey, little, well, all right, sure. Yeah, a ton of things. Except, except Cobras. Fun and friendship. Friendship is key to victory, as they say. It looks just like I always hoped it would look. Actually, that is legitimately great. Do you see how that happens? The Africa Pavilion for the photo shoot. I hmm. thought Mona said we'd meet at the Moscow Pavilion. She changed she her mind. Said you could use all of us and do whatever you want. People say things. She's like a good representation of that. Can I come along? I can feel the excitement in this place in my inner eyelids. And it's Jesus. Happy feet. Also, it also could be a trick, but... Hold on, mm. Vinny. I think it'd be better if all of you stay here while Russell and I are at the photo shoot. Yes, keep watch. Of course, because why would you want a professional model at a photo shoot? <laughs> because, Zoe, you, you're doing so good. Because it's someone else's turn to get that experience. Hmm. <sighs> Even if they don't go want it. Get him, Russell. Blythe, I do not or at least they don't believe they want it. Your kiosk quite delightful. It does not exactly look like a comfortable spot to relax. Well, check this out. Whoa. My god. Jesus. Yeah, I had like plenty of delayed reactions to get to the actual reaction. It's a new belly. Huh? Huh? Did I say that out loud? Okay, pets. Great. Be back before you know it. The shipping is real. We can't be late for Mona. She hates late. Oh, look, Whitney. Blythe left her kiosk all alone. Yeah. Come along and like it. It's like, it's like, Blythe, you don't understand the implications of these two. I mean, they're in sync so much they evil laugh together. Come on. What did you forget? I forgot to tell Zoe she can do this photo shoot instead of me. Really? Just now? I know you're more comfortable behind the scenes, but getting out of your comfort zone will be... Uh, Especially in this dire scenario. You must be the photographer from... Especially if you know nothing else is very important. If you, even if you fail, it's perfectly fine. Oh wait, it's not. Work with me. Work with the camera. You're setting my lens aflame. You're an animal. Literally. Yes. Excuse me, but where's Mona Autumn? Oh, she's uh, running late and said to start without her. Yeah, and people and people get on ash on not understanding how the disguises work. I mean, come on, Blythe. Missing everything laying around. Here. His hair doesn't match his mustache. I'll get back before she does. Someone should go after him and make sure he doesn't get into trouble. Yeah, well, it's not me. Except you. Oh, 
Very well. You are his friend. <laughs> his best friend. Oh, being supportive is exhausting. Minka, are you okay? <laughs> so. I'm okay. As long as I have space and I don't feel boxed in. Like, like, like I did that time when we got stuck in that dumb weird thingy. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that was actually foreshadowing to you being a space monkey in one episode. Cool. Well, you're about to go crazy. Are we moving this anyway, Whitney? Somewhere. Figure out where to put it as we like go. Yeah. Two things at once. How dare you? I don't know, Whitney. That's that's way too complicated. They take one step forward and like 19 steps back. Sooner or later, we'll get to their destination. By the time we do that, who knows where the chaos will be? We That's actually good thinking, Vinny. You're the box. That's actually a legitimately. Right what, what reality am I in? The box. Oh. Um, don't get me wrong, Russell. I love seeing the side of you, but what the heck are you doing? Using yeah. my Russell charm. Zoe was right. That's all I had to do. Watch. I call this pose Night in the Burrow. Jesus. Okay. Oh, it's Mona. Hello? Hi, where are you? I've been waiting for you over at the Moscow Pavilion. I'm at the African Pavilion. Who told you to go there? You go there. I've heard an announcement. Well, doesn't matter now. My free time is gone and I have other appointments around the expo. I guess the photo shoot wasn't important enough to you. Wow. But we're having photos taken right now. Not by my photographer, you're not. Miss Autumn. Not by my photographer. Hang on here, but please, we'll be there in two seconds. Oh man, that guy. I need to question his morals. As a butler. Russell, well, did you his morals are pretty good if it's for a butler, but as a man. Oh, I didn't get to do the glamour glare. Don't tell Zoe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Has anyone even tried to defend this is weird? Did you see the kiosk and think it's ours and give us prizes and stuff if it's like locked in a storage closet? Dad, huh. it's not staying here, Brittany. We're just stashing it while we look for an open space on the expo floor to set it up. I see. Oh, you're like smart, wet. I know, Brett. I'm think I, I know there was an episode that showed that one of them was smarter than the other. I continue to forget which one of them, though. Hey, girls, we're gonna get you out. But I do know there was an episode when they were separated, and one was clearly smarter than the other one. Wow, big door. <gasps> I know. Jesus Christ. Lizard, low to the ground, slippery. I'll just slide under the door. <laughs> I would also think you could climb it, but. You know, because lizards can also climb. Oh god. Oh god. I take back my brilliant. Mm. Oh god. What are we gonna do? Unless he's one of those who can't climb. But we don't have any idea where she is. Now appearing at the Argentina Pavilion. Fashions of the Gato culture. Starring designer Fabrizio Menudo and his dancing howler monkey. Mm. Vinny! Sunil! I have an idea! Listen to me very carefully. Whoa. Okay, don't. No, okay. <laughs> Miss Autumn, I'm so sorry. Blythe, if you want to succeed in this business, you must learn to keep your appointments. But if you She's right, she is not wrong. No room in fashion for excuses. Perhaps mm. you're not as ready for all of this as I thought you were. In professionalism, you have to be on time. There is no there is no late homework in professionalism. <laughs> even though it's not fair, even though she's it, Blythe is completely on in the right here, she's not wrong. Hello, Sunny. Sunny. Wow, she already gave you a little pet name. Very ironic how to... Okay. Do you know where that lady is who makes all those announcements? You mean like the public address announcements? Yes. Of course I know where it is on account of I've been here before, right? <clears throat> yes. So you just want me to escort you like then? Yes! Smashing. Walk this way, please. Walk that way. Whatever you say. <laughs> ah, ah, Get it? He's walking this way. Walking the way to... Ha! Ah. Oh, humor. I really never thought we'd be in this situation again with Minka. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Minka would be just fine. Oh yeah, she just needs to breathe. <laughs> weird how the uh, weird how Blythe would have a door installed to be locked on the inside. You still have your kiosk. Try to focus on doing well with that. You're right, Russell. I can always count on you pets to talk me down. Mm. Now, before the judges come by, I've got to make sure my kiosk is... Gone! Gone. 
Man, Blythe, this is really gonna be interesting how you actually succeed out of this. Whoa, it's pouring down outside. And they trail off that way. Good eye, Russell. Huh. Let's follow it. It's a good thing a janitor isn't around, which should be a thing since there's plenty of animals around. You think a janitor will be always on duty. But sure. There you go again, confusing me. Great. The trail ends here. Which way do we go? Live! Come on, just have that one guy just with the with the broom. How you're doing? Awful. My kiosk with the pets inside is missing. Not only that, <laughs> but judging is about to begin. No pressure. Why, hello, kitty. What are mm -hmm. you doing in... Hey! Come back with my announcement! Dad, ah, well, that was fast. Go on, Sunil. Make an announcement for Blythe. And hurry! This is going to be very awkward. I mean... Vinny, how about you do it? Sunil seems to be. Here we go. Like I always say, you want something done right? Ah, call a lizard. Gotcha. <clears throat> Hello, tasting, tasting, one, two, three. Mm, my microphone tastes good. Hey, Blythe Baxter, can you get over to the? Uh, what do you call? Storage room, under the stairs. Okay, thank you. Over and out. Hey, I wonder what they're hearing right now. Hey, did you guys hear that announcement? I just heard a bunch of chattering. There we go. Like a gecko's call, actually. All right. I actually would have loved to have like a all about? a no a point of view kind of thing with them. I'm impressed that you know what a gecko call sounds like. Yes. I, so like, is that like a thing? What's going on? The biscuit swiped your kiosk and locked it up in the storage room with the girls inside. Well, let's get them mm. out of there. Prepared. It's not here. Ah, oh, that's weird. Perfect spot, Whitney. Wow, okay, so they game back quick. Judging begins in five minutes. What's taking Bly so long to find us? Well, the oh, pepper. Is those biscuits moved us to a new location. <gasps> hmm. Maybe if we make some noise, it'll help them find us. Turn down for what? No problem. Oh, great. Jesus Christ. Beat it, Brittany. The judges are on their way. Oh, trust me, you're gonna get Biscuit Twins Pet Design Fashion Animal Stuff. What do you think, Whitney? I think maybe not enough words. Mm. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to attempt to say anything about mm. Oh, Brittany, look who's here. The like judges. Oh Brittany, wow. What a surprise. They're Kios 18. It's that vast. Those two take credit for Blythe's hard work. Oh, it's almost like another character in this show. Where do you get your inspiration? Oh, we get asked that, like, all the time. Right, Brett? We do? Oh, yeah, we do. Our inspiration is from, like... Ourselves? Stuff? Oh my god, that's this brilliant. I get my inspiration from stuff all the time when I'm drawing. I'm going to find your kiosk. Less talking, more looking. <sighs> oh no, look. This is... Our kiosk. We've worked hmm. on it for like ever. Hmm. Oh, yeah, just moving it over here felt like it took days. Their kiosk? That's my kiosk! Really now, prove it! Award Whitney and Brittany Biscuit, the exposition's best in show award for What? Stealing. It's only 18! Blythe was like 60 something. When did you get to those? It is so not. Really? Why would you put our names on that awesome sign that has just enough words on your kiosk? Just enough I words. It's my kiosk. Rio, France, Shanghai. I've been to all these places and more in the last year. And as you can see, they all inspired my designs. Besides, these are my pets inside. Oh. Your pet just tried to attack humans. How dare you? <laughs> Guys, what is going on here? I think I can explain. And who are you? Oh, your your morals as a man is about to come out. Me for the photo shoot. <laughs> I have never seen this man before in my life. That's because I am not your photographer. I'm Francois. Francois. Butler? 
So My God. Yes. <laughs> Those two forced me to pose as a photographer so Miss Blythe would be distracted and they could steal her kiosk and everything in it. Huh. Why would you go along with them? Yeah. I am a 17th generation butler. We take our pledges to serve our employers very seriously. Exactly why I retracted my statement about a butler thing. There we go. There we go. I did try to take the very best photographs of you and the little spiky fellow as I could. Let me see those. You were doing a pretty decent job. These are amazing. Stopping! You are so fired! I thought I might be, Mum. Well, don't worry about that, Francois. Really? I want to buy your photos. Oh, oh it's, thank you, Mark. Is, is it going to be good? Sweet. Thank you. These photos will be perfect for the article about Blythe, her fashion designs, and the littlest pet shop. Okay. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Twan. See, things are working out for the best. Publicity. What would largest ever pet shop opening a new location? <laughs> oh, that Fisher Biscuit! He always says he's going to open another large store whenever he thinks a competitor is getting too much attention. <laughs> really? He does. Apparently, rotten apples really? don't fall very far from the tree. Hmm, ha! Funny. Blythe. Best in show. <laughs> Yay, the hero wins! I would have never have thought of this. Okay. Well, you just got to Richard Flight and got here very quickly. <laughs> Dad, be cool. Oh, your dad's always cool. I have hey, all the stuff they did throughout the season. Splendid. I didn't know you had it in you. Mm. Neither did I, Zoe. But I'm glad I found it. With your help, of course. See, inspiration okay, beats to best. Beasts. You're on. Yeah, unlike me, I give up immediately. So, good job, Russell. Yes, give me proud. Woo, give me happy. Make like a tuba. Now stand the other way. Fantastic. Jesus. Great job. End of season. I am done. I have finished season two, even though season three and season four are definitely a thing, and I'm really, uh, really far behind. You know. I'm yeah, as as a reactor to uh, Lewis Pet Shop, I am greatly ashamed, but I'm I'm at least happy I finally am halfway done, right? That's 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 uh that's uh, that's clearly something that should be written in the record books. So, as a se as a season, for what I can remember from it, from what I saw, it was basically just you know updated things uh, all around. I like the revelation to the butler, at least in the end of this one. That's like a big change. Can't wait to see how they're going to replace him for, like, Season 3 and Season 4. Because since now he's, he was fired from this, now he has his own passion, now he's... He basically went down a pretty dark road. Uh, literally stooping down to, their, uh, to the Biscuits level to make another completely innocent person go through hardships that they really did not have to go through. And now he, stu he st stepped up as a man, as his own personal dude. And it's like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do the right thing and say all this sudden stuff, and that was great. And I like how I did actually thought, I thought about it. When I said, oh, I need to think about his morals as a butler. Well, as a butler, he did do what a butler should do, and that's taking the orders from the family that hires him. So that makes sense. But as a man, you go out, and as a person, period. As a person, you go out and be like, no, this is wrong. I'm about to come out with this and just take any consequences that come to you. But he didn't get many consequences. He got... A better, better outcome with that. They're buying the photo, so knowing her, she probably has like tons of money to give them. So great for that. As a season as a whole, good season, good season, good season for now for for this. And I'm gonna take a break from Lowe's Pet Shop. This is a perfect moment for me to do it since I'm not in the middle of something. And I'm gonna just do it. Uh, other things, hopefully not as long expired for me to do because time management with, with reactions has gotten really bad, especially with the college and whatnot. So. Wander over yonder, or miraculous, miraculous. I'm really hoping I've been getting that right. Miraculous ladybug, uh, uh, as the next things to do, and that's up to you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this season, even though it took me forever to try to get to it. And I'm happy for those of you who stuck by me for the entire, the entirety of season two. And I'm gonna get to season three sooner or later, probably later, way later, knowing my schedule with uh, Little Spread Shop. And it is just like unless it's something like unless it's like a show that's coming out weekly 
or something like that, it, it, it's very hard for me to get to it. Because when it comes to MLP, I can find a day to watch a, a 22, 23-minute uh, uh, episode of MLP. I can find time to watch an 11-minute episode of Steven Universe. I can find time for all this, but I can't seem to find a time to, to watch multiple episodes of something. Because I know if I watch multiple episodes of it, hours are going to go by pretty fast since I like to do either three to four to even five different videos for one setting. And if I have enough time to do that, period for all the stuff that I've been doing. So, yeah. Well, all that being said, I'm going to see if I can also do some Star vs. Force of Evil, because that is definitely a show that I still need to get into. And, yeah, Season 2 is either already here, up, and I just need to finish Season 1, so I can be somewhat caught up in this uh, thing magic that's going on. So, yeah, this is the new one in the universe. I'll see you guys next time.